guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. How's it going? I hope it's going good. My name is Javon Shana, the Shana Bell. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we'll be doing another pick a card reading, and today's topic will be your future spouse's sexual fantasies about you. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. This is an 18 plus reading, so if you're not 18 or older, older please click off of this video. I have many other readings on my channel that you can watch. I am not getting demonetized for you or any strikes against my channel for you because you want to watch this on the age, okay? 18 plus. Love you guys all, but please don't get me in trouble. Okay, so without further ado, we will have the piles, the photos pop up for you to pick the pile and the piles uh, that call out to you the most, and I will see you in your reading. Pile number one. Ooh, about to get me copyrighted. Slow down. I was watching TikToks. Girl, I'm so tired. I'm literally so tired. I had an exam today. Gotta be. Was hoping for an A, but it's fine. That's actually, I think, the highest grade I've gotten this whole semester because your girl was not doing very well this semester. She was slacking the whole semester. So she finally, she, she, she got a B. <laughs> the next finals will be A's, okay? But anyway, pile number one, if you pick the photo of the very cute, fuzzy, white phone case with the pink bow on it, then this is reading for you. So, Heavenly Father, please tap me into pile number one's energy. Somebody deliver these messages to them my accuracy precision. Honestly, in truth, for the good of all, and harm to none, Lord. Amen. So, I got a new deck. I got the Sexual Magic Tarot deck. I got the mini version because it's so cutesy and it was... A fraction of the price <laughs> so like literally look how cutesy it is why okay those are not cards. look how small and cutesy it is love it like the size of my hand love it okay so we are going to dive right into your reading what is your person's your future spouses what are your future spouses sexual fantasies with you okay Because I am not promoting sex before marriage. <laughs> um, okay, so future spouse. Ten of Cups. How fitting. Oh, he gonna spoil you in the bedroom. He gonna do foreplay and foreplay starts like way before y'all even get to the bedroom. Like foreplay starts the morning of, okay? Like it starts the moment the date started, if not er earlier than that. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, like whining, dining, spoiling you. We have the Moon. You gonna pull out a trick you ain't never seen before? We have the Justice card. You gonna feel real good about this? You know, it's gonna make up for all the times if you were having sex previously, right? All the times you was not pleased. Or it's gonna make up for the wait that you had to wait. Okay, if you're waiting till marriage. We have the King of Pentacles. Oh yeah, he a man. He a man for real, for real, for real. Okay. He gonna take care of you, okay? Like he I see him like picking you up and throwing you around. Okay. Might even tie you up. You're gonna be running away from him because he made you finish so many times. And at this point, you really just like, you're like, okay, I need a break, I need to stop. And he's like, no, nah, I'm not finna chat. Right? This is the type, this is the type of man that's like, he gonna be giving you head, and you gonna keep going, and then he's still gonna keep going, and you're trying to like push him away, and he's like, no, I'm not done with my meal yet. Like, I gotta finish the whole plate, you know. And then at the bottom of the deck, we had the Nine of Swords reverse. I can see him tying you up. I ain't gonna hold you. I can't even see. He honestly, he honestly adores. He's gonna adore your body. Um, like body's tea. I ain't gonna hold it. Love every inch of you. Okay. Won't be a lot of like kissing on the neck, biting on the neck, biting your lips, things like that. Like I said, it's gonna be a whole bunch of foreplay. Like a whole bunch of foreplay. And I guess not all the foreplay is going to be sexual. A lot of it will be like 
oh like you wake up in the morning and you find like a gift or um like he leaves you a note and it's like oh here's some money i'll take my card and go shopping and out with your girls whatever the case is and then get yourself something nice because i'm taking you out uh, and we're gonna go get something nice to eat tonight right and then y'all go out on a date that night and um you guys go on a date and uh, you know you guys have like a really great time um bring you flowers all that stuff then bring you home and you know you guys have a drink or two while y'all are eating too you know so you feel real nice you feel real saucy real <laughs> and he's just like whispering a bunch of like sweet nothing to you all night just like complimenting you and being like <clears throat> you know the basics like opening the door for you pulling up the chair like you know it's not even that crazy of stuff it's just like, being a gentleman and like we always say like for a place that's way before the bedroom how you treat a woman is how they don't want to treat you the more of a man and like masculine you are the more like a woman you know that turns the woman on right so he knows how to treat a woman and how to like make a woman happy and understand, he understands that a happy wife is a happy life, okay? He's a cater to you type of man. Like he'll be feeding you strawberries and things like that, okay? Also, he might fantasize about you guys having like a threesome or a foursome. So that's only, if you're okay with that, you know, if you're not, leave that, okay? But also I just also I see him doing it in like different positions, different places, like consummating every room of the house that he buys you. Um, you guys could also have like a beach house or like a boat or go on vacation where you have like an excluded personal beach and then you guys have like a romantic dinner and like lunch, dinner or lunch like date basically on the beach. And then you guys, you know, making love on the beach as well. But yeah, those are your messages. How number one, this was very short, but I hope it resonated. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know which part you came from and how it resonated. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel with the bell notification on so you can be notified whenever I upload. Check out my description box for other information you might need from me. Follow me on the rest of my platforms at Siobhan Shayna. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Pound with two. If you picked a photo of uh, the vanity with the flowers, there's like a vintage mirror face down, a heart like ceramic thing that holds jewelry and like, what is that? Flower nose. And everything like that or yeah then this is ready for you so lord heavenly father please tap into pound number two's energy so i'm going to deliver these messages to number accuracy precision honesty and truth for the good of all and unto the lord amen okay so what is pound number two future spouses sexual fantasies what is pound number two future spouses sexual fantasies Okay, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, the first one. The Devil upright. And then the Five of Wands upright. <laughs> and then we have the three of pentacles uh, at the bottom of the deck so okay so for one he fantasizes about like picking you up and doing things with you like that you could be like on the smaller side or the more petite side don't necessarily have to be but could be um if that is the case then he really does fantasize about picking you up quite often and throwing you around um uh, he also <clears throat> one is obsessed with you and your body and how you feel how you smell um how you taste <laughs> he also he fantasizes about how 
so many people wanted you and wish that they can be in um, the position that they are in with you but you're the one who has they're the ones who has that opportunity and they fantasize about like other people watching and or them like somebody else being with you and them watching and so basically like uh c-u-c-k old uh, yeah i think that's what it's called um but yeah they want to like watch somebody else admire and appreciate your body um with the eight of swords in reverse they also fantasize about like taking their time and studying every inch of you and telling you how every part of you is beautiful as they go through it and like caress every part and like you know because <laughs> i don't know you could be a little insecure and don't really like love your body or like there's certain things about you that you don't really like so they want to not only kiss the parts and love on the parts that you do like but also kiss on and love on the parts that you don't like because they also love those parts of you as well um they also want you they fantasize about you being like a past a pillow princess so maybe they think about you like like them tying you up or just telling you to just sit there and like let them explore you and do do what they want to do with you and like you just being like really submissive and allowing it to happen allowing them to just please you um yeah like with the queen of pentacles and the four of pentacles both of me like that's what i'm getting from like both of them it's like they really just want to like devour you and really please you and like have you become weak in your knees and defenseless against them and just like have you be completely vulnerable and open with them so they can really have their way with you and really like make you lose your mind kind of like they want you to be weak in the knees they want you to be like making a mess if you get what I'm saying if you get what I'm you're picking up what I'm putting down they could also have like a pretty big very blessed in that department um and they want to make you scream mm -hmm. like they want you to they want you to feel every inch of them yeah okay <laughs> phone number two i'm gonna stop it there these are really short readings but um i haven't done sexual readings in so long because my uncle was mad at me when I did one on my TikTok before. <laughs> so I, I, I was like, I can't do this with my uncle watching this. This is so weird. But like, yeah, I'm going to get back in it. But it kind of like, let me get comfortable doing this again. Because what did my uncle see? That's so embarrassing. That's so that's so weird. Anyway, but yeah, those are your messages. Pile number two. I hope it resonated. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And leave a comment below letting me know which part you came from and how it resonated. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel with the bell notification on. So you know if I whenever I upload. Check out my description box for all information on me. Follow me on my TikTok and my Instagram. At I love you guys so very much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. If you picked the photo of the bed display and has like a, um, it has a bunch of all this flower nodes, I have to get some flower nodes um, products because all these pictures that I use all have flower nodes products. Like flower nodes, sponsor me. You literally be in all my thumbnails. <laughs> like um, yeah, but it's like a cute little display on like chiffon and lace. Then this is the reading for you, so Lord Heavenly Father, please tap into power number three's energy. Some of you live these messages to number acts of precision, honesty, and truth, for the good of all, and harm to the Lord. Amen. So, what are power number three's secret spouses, sexual fantasies? Okay, we have the Hermit in reverse. Virgo energy. I have not been mentioning any signs. The devil in reverse. Um, that's Capricorn energy. We have the no. That went flying. It's the King of Cups. We have the King of Cups as well. I don't feel like getting up to get it. Like at all. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> Y'all would see that. The chariot. Q 
cancer energy okay we have the hierophant in reverse Taurus energy okay and then we have the Emperor and the three of swords the Emperor is Aries energy you guys have a lot of major arcanas coming out and then bottom of the deck we have the full again Aries energy and then Pisces energy as well okay I will keep in account that we have the king of cups okay I'm not getting up to get that until after I'm done recording. There's there's a bunch of stuff around me. <laughs> That's gonna be a hazard. Okay. So what does pile number three's future spouse fantasize sexually about them? Um Okay, so this is somebody who like likes the whole freak in the sheets, but lady in the bed. No. Lady in the streets, freak in the sheets. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Um, however, okay, they, okay. This is someone who fans, you could be like someone who comes off as really innocent or comes off, yeah, someone who comes off very innocent, not very promiscu promiscuous at, at all. Um, so, this person, honestly, when you guys are courting, dating, and things like that, you could be someone who like waiting until marriage or whatever the case is, or even if you're not, whenever before you guys do anything they're going to be fantasizing about it a lot because in that head they're kind of like questioning if you are even somebody who does things like that you could be a virgin and this is like um or they they think that you are like they you give off like somebody who is very reserved and doesn't really um do a lot of promiscuous type of things so they fantasize about like being really gentle with gentle with you and leading the way um they want to kind of like keep you safe and keep you pure and especially with the full part like it's really giving like they feel as though you're not you're not like they don't know or they don't think or they know that you don't do anything right but like they're not somebody who this is not someone who's gonna like try to especially with the hybrid frame reverse and i'm looking at it they don't think that you know much about what goes on in the bed um with the chariot though it's low-key given like okay it's not that they want to rush you it's more so that they are ready like they want to move forward so they fantasize about going there with you um and then kind of like but they kind of like fantasize once they get there with you they don't want to hold back once they get there with you they're like, I'm going to show her and teach her everything that there is to know about, you know, what's going on in the bedroom. Like, and then also they fantasize about not, about doing it not just in the bedroom. Like, they fantasize about you doing it in the car, like, out in public, um, maybe on the beach, like. At a concert. Also, I can see them serenading you before, and they're gonna okay. So they're gonna like set the mood and tone with music, and really get you in the mood for things. Especially if it's like your first time, or when it's y'all first time, or when you're constantly in the marriage. If you guys are waiting to marriage, um, like they're gonna drape, they're gonna like start the like start a bath for you and get like a nice bubble bath spa type of experience going for you like some candles you guys might be taking the bath together but they're gonna make it like really sweet and really uh, romantic and really set the tone and they're gonna have like really beautiful romantic music playing they're gonna give you like a nice massage and they will be down in like essential oils and butters and um, like body butters and really get you like feeling nice and loose and everything like that and then they're gonna feast on you and get you get your juices flowing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, hear the kids. Oh, that's so weird. There's kids like cheering outside. Yeah, but they're gonna. Oh my gosh, just say this after I just said that. It's so weird. Yeah, but they're gonna get like your juices flowing and then like go to town. Like they want. They're gonna. They're not gonna stop until they have you overflowing if you get what I'm saying like sprinkling you know that's the goal because they're like they gotta it's best I ever had best I ever had or whatever you know 
Yeah. They want they want to be the best you ever had. Yeah. And if you are that are like excited about it because they want some virgin. Which kind of sounds weird, depending on the age of the person. Um, and all unless like they're absolute, they're abstinent too, because there's like, then they just wanted somebody who was also abstinent, you know. So that's like understandable. But yeah, those are your messages. Pal number three. I hope it resonated. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below, letting me know which pal you came from and how it resonated. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel with the bell notification on, so you can be notified whenever I upload. Um, uh, check out the description box for any information you might need from me, and follow me on my TikTok and Instagram. I love you guys. At Siobhan Shana. I love you guys so very much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. We are too